So blades are born from crystals and titans from blades. The titan, in turn, nurtures life. And someday, births new core crystals. Right. That's the life cycle of a blade. It is the way that the architect ordained for the world. Old Torna worshipped this cycle. In Old Torna, we revered the Titans, feared them. It was the sacred foundation of Torna, a nation where humans and blades lived in harmony. But humans couldn't live like that. A battle with Malos marked the end. It wasn't long after you and Adam left Torna. He did it. That worm of Malthus. The Praetor? What did he do? The one who really destroyed this place? It wasn't the Aegis. It was him. Huh? them. They must be somewhere nearby. Laura. Don't worry. If I die, you'll just go to sleep. Someone will find you, reawaken you. Someday, for us humans, being forgotten is a much worse fate than death. We struggle so hard to make our mark on the world. Laura! When you awaken, to you, it'll be like I never even existed. thought of you forgetting me, it's like one heart is being ripped in two. I won't forget you. I refuse to forget you. How could I ever? I thought I was ready for this. But now the time has come. I'm hopeless. I'm so sorry to do this to you. There is one way. One final chance. A way that we can be together.
I eat her. <gasps> Maybe we shouldn't have left. I never knew. Amalthus was afraid of the Aegis's power. After Malice was defeated, he tried to wipe them out. The remnants of Torna were annihilated in the attempt. But you'd already vanished by then, so we were slaughtered for nothing. <sighs> no, even if he wasn't trying to get you, a mouthless the humans would have done what they always do. We're the Architect's children. We turn into Titans, the ground beneath their feet. But they feared us. So that's the reason he attacked you? To save the world? No. His real desire for Elysium is his desire for the Architect's power. Amalthus wants to use it to wipe out Blades and Titans. So that's why he was taking care of Rex and the Aegis. Even so, even if that's true, you lot and Amalthus, you're the same. Didn't you say you wanted to destroy the world, take out the architect himself? I did say that. You know, I'm not so sure. What? I don't buy it. I can't believe that's what you're really trying to do here. Why do you say that? Haven't we... I could tell when we were fighting. I saw it in your eyes. The sadness. It was the look of someone who just wanted to die. Someone with no other way out. <sighs> you know, it was the way Pyra looked the first time we met. You don't know what you're talking about. Keep your stupid comments to yourself. You better believe we'll do it. We will destroy the one responsible for this world. And we will destroy all the humans who lived by his mercy. We are sick of being used as tools by humans. Well then, there's only one thing to do. As I thought. What's that? They're not really alive. Just autonomous cybernetic organisms. Once their central control is gone, they're programmed to act on their own. To destroy. These guys? Testaments to human hubris. Now do you see? 